finally. Okay, so I'll just grab this new link and then I'll share it to the group. So we will call this. Okay, everybody, if you're here, just type, I am here. I can see five people, six people. Okay, just say, I am here, so that I'll be sure that you can hear me. I am here, yes. Roberto, I see you. Excuse me, let me come up a bit so that you can see me clearly. Angie's Poetry. I like your name. I like the fact that you're using your name to advertise, uh, to use as your YouTube uh, YouTube name, as your YouTube profile has poetry in it. It means you are... You are sold out, basically, to the to the course of doing poetry. Hey, my fellow, Michael Osiago. Michael is a poet. At the same time, he he farms. He farms mushrooms. Yeah, do you still farm mushroom? Kelkelito, welcome. Okay, so let us not wait for other people. What is the most? What is the most? Um, the most money you've made in a month from poetry i would like to hear so i won't be teaching people who are better than i am i want to be very as i want to be as practical as possible before i go and teach people who are making 15 million from poetry every month so what is the most you've made from poetry in a month Hello, Debra Awelewa. Oh, you haven't made Jack. How long have you been doing poetry, Roberto? In one full month, 
the most i said you're the most 100k plus okay 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 um uh, he's my old student so i expect that i expect that michael osiago nice one nice one hundred thousand plus okay five years ago all right so maybe it's time for you to step up maybe this this very uh teaching is for you good evening okay me how are you okay no problem it's fine you're starting the right way okay guys so if you have um um what's the book how to be a, how to be a millionaire poet in weeks this is exactly what we are talking about right everything in the book is what not we're not going to talk about everything in the book but everything we are going to talk about here is already in the book so if you make if you make 100k every month if you make 100k at least that you can make more than that if you make 100k every month how much would you have made at the end of the year How much would you have made if you make 100k at least every month how much would you have made can you hear me clearly 1.2 okay so that means if you use 200k to maybe feed or do other things which is not possible by the way you spend more than that it means you have made a millionaire but does that make you a millionaire Well, have you spent on poetry? All of you who said you have not made money from poetry. Have you spent on poetry? But it, the truth is this, right? Is it, garbage in, garbage out. The most, if you invest in whatever it is you are doing, but you invest wisely, in whatever it is you are doing, you are also going to reap, reap from it. Some of you are even saying, anger. I've not made one error from poetry. Poetry is, is for poor people. But the truth is, the reason, the reason what inspired me to even write um become a millionaire poet in weeks what inspired me to write it was because there was this day that um uh, tunde had not posted a meme of somebody saying to um okay a lady a lady came to her her father with a spouse like her partner husband to be and when they asked the guy what do you do for a living he said i'm a poet and then the father of the girl was very pissed. Say, what is that one? You want you now turn to the daughter. Do you want to die wretched? Do you want to die poor? You know, and in the caption, Tunde had not said, it'd be like, say this father never meet Graciano. I was mad that day. You know, I was I was both angry and happy that oh, so people have been seeing me. Like I said, I always say to my students, people are watching you. You may think nobody's seeing you, but people are really watching you. All right. So if you like, hide hide the monies you make. People are still going to find out, right? All right. So what am I saying? That that inspired me to start teaching how I how I've been able to make money. How I've been able to make uh, money enough to take care of my my immediate needs. The truth is, no matter how good you are as an artist, no matter how good you are, skillful you are, if it does not solve your immediate needs, you are going to be a burden to people, and you are going to be you are going to be frustrated with your skills. You are going to be frustrated with your talents. So, if you are making money monthly, or maybe weekly, from poetry, and you are able to, you have financial intelligence. That's why sticks and stones is important. Get the book sticks and stones. If you have it, financial intelligence, you'll be able to save and invest more in your poetry. All right? Invest more in your poetry. Everything you do is an should be an investment. Everything you do should be an investment. Everything you do, from the hair you make, the bangle you put on, the shirt you put on, everything should be an investment. And a good, do you know who a good manager is? We are going to get into the nitty-gritty fully, but do you know who a good manager is? A good manager is somebody... Who uses less to make more so if you use more to make more 
you are not a good manager. If you use more to make less, you are horrible. <laughs> but if you use less to make more, so they give you uh, 50,000 Naira, you can even uh, quadruple it. You can make you can make it make four times that amount. You're yeah, a very good manager. People are going to want to invest in your art, right? But if if they give you 200,000 Naira next two weeks, you are returning with with 5,000 Naira, then that's that's horrible. That's horrible. So let me ask you a question. If someone invests 500,000 Naira and says, do only poetry, I'm coming back to take my 500,000 Naira plus another 100,000 Naira as my interest in six months. Can you do that? Can you give the person the 500K plus the 100K? Is it possible for you to do that? Be very honest. Look, I'm going to ask you how you are going to do that. So be honest. Yes or no? Just say yes. If you can, if you can, if you can live up to the expectation, say yes. <laughs> so why can't you roberto why can't you you can i'm not saying you should go and invest in mushrooms in poetry okay michael osiago just hold on let me listen to from the, let me listen to the answers of the new students Nobody else is answering. Okay, Michael Osiago, how would you do that? What are you going to do with 500K to quadruple it, to make it make, make four times that amount in six, six months? It's not whether you will like. Of course, everybody will like. I'm saying, can you do it? liking and be, being able there are different things i can do all things it's not the same thing as uh, you should do all look for how to charge it look for how to charge it look for how to charge it get a power bank i told you to prepare when i said prepare this is what i mean my light went off i had to get someone to fix it that was why we delete so look for how to fix it. I'm just coming back from an event. You see, my phone is at uh, my phone is at uh, 52 percent. I made sure I kept it on so that I can be here. Okay. Okay, he says, I have a friend who does poetry every, uh, poetry eve. Okay, every gathering where poets perform and there's a token of 1K or so per attendee. Okay, and there are over, there are over 100 people attending. Is that what you're saying? What are promotions? Who's going to promote the event? Or does he have uh, like a newsletter where he sends messages to everybody and people gather? Okay, why you answer that? Let's just go straight to the point. So I'm going to divide um, how you can make money into two ways. 15 of them in total, but there are over 30 of them I mentioned, like 25 of them in the book, right? But I'm going to talk about 15 of them. And then I'm going to tell you five that are the ones you can start now as a beginner poet as someone who is like uh, Roberto, who has never done anything. Sorry, not Roberto. Somebody said she has never, she just started. She has not even done any poetry yet. So somebody like that, I'm going to mention five ways you can make money uh, from spoken word poetry. And then we'll mention another 10 that you can, that is long-term, right? 10 that is long-term, you would uh, walk your way through to getting that. So maybe if you start now in six months, you start earning another 100K, 
from that or those other ones so what i'm saying is there are five ways you can make the least 20 25k every month from each so if you make 25 from this or let's say 20 from this make another 20 from this make another 20 20 times 5 is how much Nepal has done their worst. Yes, yes, yes. So let's 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 just co continue. So I'll just I'll just hit it back to back. Let's see if we can round off. Let me time myself. Let's see if we can round off before 10. This is nine o'clock on the door. Let's see if we can round off before 10. Where are my notes? Okay. Can you see me clearly? Okay. So let's let's just continue. Uh, let me go to my notes and then pick them out so i'll just pick the points and then elaborate and make sure you understand each one are we on the same page all right so first of all i have to tell you none of these none of these um methods are easy it takes a lot of work it takes a lot of work it might even take uh, some money for you to do it right uh, but I'm going to mention them and tell you like how much you can use to start to start each of them. So one is that you can this one you can use two thousand to start it. <laughs> you can use two thousand to make twenty k, twenty twenty five k in a month if you do this very one. I'm going to talk about this first one. So it is uh, writing custom poetry for people and charging for it. Custom poetry means for each person you write a poem. That when they read it, they'll know, ah, and I'm you, you understand. So that's what custom poetry is. So for instance, if if you if my girlfriend, my girlfriend or my, my wife's birthday is next tomorrow, you can send me a message and say, I have a poem for your wife that will make sense. So I can write it for you and put it in a very nice um, background. You can frame it and give it to her. Or you can put her picture somewhere and the poetry around it, maybe with the shape of love around the picture. And if you want, you can frame it. If you want me to frame it, this is what it's going to cost you. All right. So you can do that to many people. And when they accept, you go ahead to ask. The reason why you have to contact them is one, because you need them to pay you, obviously. But secondly, because you want them to tell you about their wives there are some things about their wife that no one else knows things that they hold very dear so you don't want their wives to read it and it looks like something they wrote for somebody else so you want the wife to read it and be like mm -hmm. only my husband could have done this i wrote one for somebody in 2020 and everybody felt like ah this man is now a poet people were reading they were listening to the poetry he sounded like me but at the same time, the content was like what the man, only the man could have known. So when he was done and she was crying everywhere, <laughs> tears everywhere, she was crying and she was really overjoyed. She hugged him because they were really personal stuff. But even me, I was so, I was so emotional when I was done writing it. But it made sense because 
she felt like it was custom custom made for her she felt like it was a personal message from her husband to her so now everybody most people know this uh, this way of making money but they don't know how to go about to talk about clients and that's exactly what i'm going to teach you so this is how it works i won't lie to you first of all you would have to be known these people will have to know you as a poet first of all so it means you have to put out content if possible put out like six videos on your on your socials and pin them so that when they come to us even if they don't recognize you they come to your your profile the first thing they're going to see they're going to see poems so they will know that oh you have done it if possible put up the poems you have written for other clients or testimonials from people who really loved what you did with their spouses so let them see it and be like okay ah this one is nice oh and start um let them start watering let them feel like wow if this happens to my girlfriend or my wife she's really going to love me more so let them see it and and start um imagining ha that happening with them you understand so this is how you can go about it then of course the easiest one is birthday most people when it comes to weddings is the women that are in charge i don't know whether you are aware weddings are for the women most men don't have a say when it comes to wedding so avoid wedding for now until you become big remember i'm talking to those who are just starting so what you're supposed to do is to go to your facebook of course you might have to have up to how many people 100 times 30 that's 3000 people you need to have about 3000 friends all right 3000 friends for you to be able to do this all right so every month at least 3000 friends every month send messages to about 100 people send messages to 100 people on, on your facebook look for those look for go to the uh, the birthday the birthday uh, what is that thing called the birthday page of facebook you will see the names of people whose birthdays fall within for instance april you can go there this much and check for april so you can send messages do a custom made message or just write a message like one message but when you are sending it put their names in it dear my name is i am a poet i am i have been inspired to make the birthday of your spouse really special with custom made poems for her from you why it is custom made why it has to be custom made is so that she will feel like you wrote it for her i'm going to write the poem in your voice in your tonality and with the right content that only you know imagine you now send some of the things you've done imagine this sent to her on her birthday framed with her picture in this spot you can circle it and be like what do you think about it so let the person respond the truth is not everybody will respond but for those that are going to respond maybe let's say half of that respond if they respond then you can start telling them this I, this is what i charge now this is what me i'll recommend that you charge because you are just starting i recommend that you start with okay you are going to uh, divide it into categories the first category is that you are going to write the poem custom poem and then put it in a you, you know how those greeting messages are right the designed um template you can use canva to do it or you can meet a young graphic designer and beg them that they or you can tell them to collaborate no no need to start begging from the beginning when you're just starting a business you can start with um collaboration but if i if you ask me i'll say you should do make use of canva canva is easy to use you just go there put that uh the the poem you have just written and then maybe put your own your logo somewhere very small let it not be noticeable the truth is you want to use that to boost that you have done that before you understand so you want to do that so tell them that this is what you can do and then when you ask the questions you get personal messages you coin it into a poem please don't use chat gpt i gave some of my old students some questions 
I give them a task to write poems and we're using ChatGPT. By the time you use Delve, Dive, use uh, uh, Tapestry and the other stupid words that ChatGPT always uses, people are going to catch you. And you are, the truth is people don't pay you for what they can do for themselves. So if they are meeting you, it means they know that ChatGPT is there, but ChatGPT cannot, um, cannot frame or cannot um, gather the emotions attached to the kind of conversation they would want to have in a poem. Don't use ChatGPT. All right, so write this poem, 10 lines, 15 lines, and you are good, and then uh, send it to them. So you can charge three to 5,000 Naira. You can charge three to 5,000 Naira for just the, when you're also, when you're also doing the design, make sure that the quality is large enough. The quality, hello, I'm teaching, hello. Hello, hello. I'm in class. I don't need noise there. So make sure that make sure that it is in in a page that is large enough. By large enough, I mean something that if they print it, it will not look shredded. It will not look um, it will not look dirty. Like it will not look. Uh, like something that was printed in the at the backyard, so it's going to have some good quality, no matter how colorful colorful you you made it. The color the color the colors are going to be represented properly. So make sure you use a high uh, resolution. That's the word I'm thinking of when you are uh, doing the design. All right, okay. It's better that it is large. It's too large. Then they are they will now shrink it. Before they print, they now shrink it. That's if they are printing. Okay, so what you are going to tell them is that for that three to five thousand naira category, you tell them that they will get the card as a PDF or PNG, but that you are not going to print it for them. So they can go ahead and print it and frame it. Anything they want to do with it, they can go ahead and do it because what they are paying is just three. So what they are paying for is for you to write. So you to ideate with them and then write. So three to five thousand. Sorry, in um, four to five people in uh, in one week. Okay, five people in one week. Then times four. That's a hundred thousand naira. Just stand. So if you can get, if you can write to hundred people, maybe every day for three days. If you write to hundred people every day for three days for that one month, that's three hundred people. There's no way you won't get up to twenty people that will accept. Especially if your prices are very low, if your rates are very low, people are going to want to work with you. <laughs> what I'm telling you now looks like a very difficult task, but it, it is difficult when you are writing the text, when you are sending messages to them. But it's a possibility that a lot of people are going to say, yes, I'm interested. And when they do that, what will you now do? You have to start writing poems for like 20 people. It's not easy because you need to ask them questions for you to respond. I have a, I have a consistent client right now from Dubai whose girlfriend is in Nigeria that I always write for. Okay, so almost every almost every four months, I write something for somebody. It's either their birthday or their anniversary or their murders or it's uh, the day that he traveled to Dubai. He's now in Germany, sorry, he's now in Germany. So from Dubai to Germany, all right? So these are things you can start. You can even have returning customers if you treat them well. So how you can do that successfully, if you have contacted them, you can tell them to come to your WhatsApp. That's what I do because I, I chat easily on WhatsApp. I don't like chatting on uh, on Facebook or on Instagram. But you can send them a message on Facebook. You know why you should send them a message on Facebook? If you know, tell me. Send Type it as a message. Let me see. Let me be sure that you're following. Why do you have to send them a message first on Facebook? Yes, 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 I'm waiting. Why Facebook first before any other place? Yes, yes, that's very brilliant, Roberto. Because Facebook shows you the birthdays and, and other things, yes. So, okay, look at it from their end. Why? Come on, clap, clap, clap. Okay, this is not Zoom. I would have loved to hear you people clapping for Michael. Because you, you should not, you should, as an artist, as an artist, hold your ears. As an artist, stop thinking about yourself only. 
as an artist, as a writer, you can do anything you want to do. But my my students who are poets are not just writers; they are artists. So as an artist, you should always think of your audience too. Think of the person you are working with. So from their own perspective, the reason why you should do it on Facebook is so that they can look you up. Because there are a lot of scammers out there. They want to find out who is this person. Might pay you 5000 for what? So let them look you up and see what you have done before. All right? And see that you are consistent. What you are saying is consistent with what you've been doing. Before you now tell them, let's go over to WhatsApp. Let's go over to... You understand? There is no way, I promise you, there's no way you send to 300 people. It's not possible for you to send up to 300 people uh, whose girlfriends, how are you going to find out their girlfriends or their, their spouses? Most people always put it on their profile, husband to wife to other times. If it's a girlfriend, you will see it by the time they post, maybe a, a, a year before that, they would have done something um, posting their girlfriend and saying, Yeah, the love of my life, yeah, the other one, yeah, the uh, cockroach in my cupboard. Oh, you have been doing it for free. Hey, there's nothing wrong with doing it for free, but now you should start charging, which is even a better way. If they really appreciated what you did for them for free, you can now start charging for it. So 5,000 times 20 people is how much? Let me be sure you're following. If you do for 20 people in one month, how much have you made? Hundred K. All right. So hundred K number one done. Let's go, go to hundred K number two. Hundred K number two for a beginner poet is that you should organize uh poetry workshops. Poetry workshops. This one is a bit dicey because you need to show proof. Everybody gives advice. Nigerians especially give advice not because they like you, they give advice because it's their hobby. We just want to give advice so that you know that man, this guy, the advice person. That's why you see. That's where you see somebody who has never made 500k telling you that. See, I know how to make this money. And I just say I know who money to start. You can make money without starting first, without using any capital. Make money, make 5,000 first. Then use the 5,000 to make 100k. Remember, I told you it's with 2,000 you can use to make this 100k. With 2,000 era data, if you buy MTN uh one week data 2000 that's about seven gigs you can use it to send all the messages and make all the designs as they are paying you you can use it to replicate to keep going all right if you have up to 100k you can buy data for one year one terabyte mtn and then it will serve you for at least seven months if you're a heavy data user like me all right let's keep moving we have a lot to talk about so when i finish the one for beginners the one for advanced um Advanced poets, I'm just going to nibble on them because that's not really your place, but I want to believe that most people are just starting. So, so virtual poetry workshops, you need to put out content that will help poets. Okay, you can use two weeks to do carousels. You know what carousels are? The ones those, those posts you see on those posts you see on um, Instagram that you would have to flip like this. So that is the best way to teach. Because on Instagram, then on Facebook, you can use stories. You can use your own stories, showing your challenges as a poet and how you overcame them. All right, very practical stories. So if your target audience are poets, you can use that to um, to do to do your teachings, to do your teachings. You know, by the time you do for maybe you do a thirty day challenge where you you post things that really matter. If you don't know what to write. Go and ask her GPT about the challenges and frustrations of poets. She will tell you, and then you you don't ask her for the solutions. You answer them. If you're a poet and you have really gone through all of those frustrations, you mention how you overcame those frustrations, those challenges, and then from there you can create content. So honestly, teach the way I'm doing right now. I'm not holding anything back. I'm teaching everything I know, as if you are paying. You understand if you pay me one billion naira, this is exactly what I'm going to teach you. I'm, I'm not hiding anything, I'm not teaching you anything in on a surface level, I'm teaching you everything. The truth is, 
if you teach people if you give value by the time you 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 start charging for your master classes those people are still going to pay because they believe that if i'm not paying and i'm getting this it means there's more so it will even help you to go and research more to help them because you want something to give to them that will be premium premium content for people who are paying you you understand so that's what happens so when i come to teach in a free class like this i give everything i know so that when you pay for the master class i will be under pressure to do more than what you have paid for do you understand uh -huh. so that's how it works so give all you know about that particular subject in fact if it is controversial the better for it for you i remember in 2014 i i i bragged that i was going to teach the worst person ever who does not know anything about poetry i'm going to teach the person how to win islam and the person is going to win islam and everybody said yeah poetry most people attacked me most old folks they attacked me they said poetry is a is a gift of them that it is a spiritual gift i'm like nope it's a skill poetry is a skill and anybody who learns it can work with it and before you know it it went viral that conversation i had with them went viral and more people came to me to learn that was how i met samurai a poetic samurai how many of you know samurai poetic samurai something i removed from um Google state that was how something i removed came board something i removed two months a bit three months later we met we met again in august september october november in november he came second position at war of words war of words four for world one he came second he entered for another competition he came second you know this was somebody that they 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 told that he can never amount to anything because he had the h factor he he had grammar issues he had all the challenges basically but i was we were able to to navigate uh, through all of those challenges and and help him become a better poet even more than those people that said they were they were uh, talented from birth you understand so i believe poetry is a skill and like every other skill it can be learned it can be learned okay so you should find out those challenges the worst thing you can do is to ask ChatGPT to teach you the solutions and then you now make sure you answer from your perspective if you have those challenges try to um try to work around the challenge so that you find answers that you can give to people so people will people will will run to you if really you have experienced these things and you've overcome them you can't be writing about um um stage fright when you have not on stage so go on those stages if possible perform for free so that you 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 overcome find make sure you overcome that stage fright then you tell people how you overcame them overcame that uh, stage fright with that you can now teach okay by the time you do that by the time you put out those content very short and precise from your own perspective original content if you do that for 30 and then you ask people that you are taking just five students five students let them just pay uh to two thousand naira. maybe put all of those things you have taught now in a small ebook right put them in a small ebook and tell them that they are going to join this class if you join this class i'm going to give you i'm going to give you my ebook and if possible get join groups online there's there's a growing need for groups online right now create your own group online you can be teaching for free then join groups online too. tell them that you add them to five groups online where they can learn these things do you understand okay so what you have done is you are creating values okay you are giving them you are giving them offers they cannot reject for 2000 naira you can join five poetry groups for free where you will continue to grow and learn like me or with me then you can also get my ebook that talks about this 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 and this this and this after i teach you you can also uh join my whatever whatever um maybe my broadcast list where i'll be giving you tips on how to improve also giving you um links to uh, places you submit your poems to win slams or to win competitions or for you to submit to a um to a magazine a poetry magazine so you can do that i'll teach you how to do that later so these are things you can learn 
and offer it to your students. For 2,000 Naira, a lot of people are going to take it. A lot of people are going to take it. If 50 people join for 2,000 Naira, how much have you made in one month? If 50 people join for 2,000 Naira, how much have you made? Hundred k in one month. Now, let me let me give you one tip. So, in order for you to make it consistently, if the people join for one month for two thousand naira, are you sure? Ah, thank you, <laughs> thank you. You have to know mathematics, so <laughs> it's not by speaking BB grammar only. You have to know how to calculate money. Somebody said he doesn't know how to calculate until you add naira or dollar in front of the <laughs> in front of the calculation. Okay, so what was I saying? Yeah, so in order for you not to skip, in order for you not to skip any day, in order for you not to skip any day. For instance, we last time what we talked about before we talked about workshop. We talked about what? We talked about writing custom poems, ma'am. All right, no issues. We talked about writing custom poems. Okay, so you you can start now to do custom poems. You can start now to write pe to people bed whose birthdays or whose spouse's birthdays are in March. You can start now. I, I in April. You can start now in March to send them messages and tell them, please, this is what I'm about to do, and I'm taking only twenty people. Please jump on it. It's just 5,000 Naira or it's just 3,000 Naira. So if it is 3,000 Naira, it means you have to write to more people. If it is 5,000 Naira, you just need 20 people and you're fine. You get it? Okay, so you can write to these people and then you wait for them to start responding. Now, as they are responding, you can't wait. You can't be doing only writing poems only throughout that month. You should start planning for the next month you should start planning for may in april the way you plan for april in march so you can start writing one poem every day sorry you can start teaching like giving solutions to problems once one post every day one post every day you can in fact you should write you should write for one week in one day so you should write seven content in one day since you're not writing on any trend so it's not it's not like you're waiting for something to happen before you to for you to before you will write anything. You can follow the challenges that most people complain about. You can ask Chat GPT, like I told you, ask Chat GPT about the challenges, then you, you you answer those um questions from your own experience. So you can write the first seven days, one day, the next day you write why are you writing poems for these people that have told you to write to their girlfriends. Do you understand? The idea is so that it is not when you get to next month you start saying, oh, let me write content for No. First day or second day of April, you should be able to write seven contents for that week. So that the next week, you can write another seven. So that you won't have to start waiting. When you are done writing 30 content, the next month, you'll just be posting. So what you'll be doing is, if there's anything trending, you can use that story and twist it back to what you've written before it will make sense to them because it will look like it's trending it will not look like uh, you wrote it since because you have written something and then for instance i wrote something about uh, akanala out where i was writing about football you know the football slangs we used to use and how it relates to to business i was talking about akanala out and i've written this stuff this very chapter called Akanala out. That's if your hand touches the ground, you are out. I had written something like that since like two years ago or last year. But this year was the year that Daniel Vest was um, was um, sentenced to prison, you know, for making that very big mistake. So what happens to his name? Because a lot of businesses attach to um, anything art, anything football, sport, entertainment is attached to is a personal brand kind of business so if you mess up with your personal brand most of them are going to um they're going to withdraw whatever business deals you people had okay so it's happening to Kanye West it happened to Daniel Vest 
So I did not write about Daniel Vest. Of course, Daniel Vest was still going about his life when I wrote about Akanala out. But by the time I wanted to publish it, I saw that Daniel Vest's story passes at as what I was talking about in Akanala. So I added it. So when you go to read it now, it will look like, oh, he just wrote about Akanala out. So you can relate to it. It's more powerful when people can relate to something, to something you are writing based off of what just happened. Do you understand? Okay, so that's how you can go about it. The reason I'm mentioning this is so that you don't wait. I don't want any space to come between your first 100K and your second 100K. I want it to be 100K April, 100K, uh, 100K uh, May, 100K uh, June, July, like that, continuously. Do you understand? All right. So let's move on to the next. Let's move on to the next. Please, if you understand, say yes or say right on. Let me be sure you understand what I'm saying. All right. So the next one is similar to this one that we just talked about. So this one now is not for your students. Okay, it could be for your students too, because some of your students are really going to be interested in buying a collection of a poem, collection of poems that you are doing. So now, even today, in fact, currently I'm doing something like that. If you go to my uh, Instagram and TikTok, you will see that I'm making posts about grief, all right? So because a lot of, I lost a lot of friends last year, last two years and this year, and I started writing poems on grief. And I noticed that a lot of people could relate. Almost everybody has lost somebody that they like, that they really love, you understand? So people can relate to grief. So I started writing about grief and people are interested. So what I did was I just stay in a place like this and I recite and I recite my poem. You understand? I just recite my poem and, and post it. So 30 seconds, one minute reels on Instagram, I post it. So I do that every day. The truth is, I did not shoot, I did not shoot them, like I did not shoot them for those days that I posted them. On those days I posted them, I shot them like a week before the day you saw them. So what I do is I write the poems. I can write like up to 60 or 50 poems, then go to the place where I want to shoot it with my lights and then shoot it. So I shoot and then I post. Do you understand? So by the time I do that, they, hello hey excuse me please okay sorry about that Okay, so what was I talking about? Yes, so record the videos in advance and then post them. Make sure it's about something that people can relate to. Make sure it's something that people can pay for, right? Then as you're posting those videos, tell them that you can put it all of them in a book. Maybe towards the, uh, maybe 10, if it's remaining 10, to end it. Remember what I told you before. As you are doing this, you are preparing for the next. So you can be doing that 10 days to end that very um, month's uh, challenge. 30 days challenge, by the way. You can be posting two poems. You can even, you can even publish a 30 uh um not 30 pages but 30 poem a collection of 30 poems you can do that it's called a chapbook. book if you do up to 30 poems you are you are good you don't have to print it as an ebook it's fine uh, at the agarau's uh, 30 this thing went viral and he sold them and made a lot of money from it so you can do the same thing you can write 30 poems and put it in a in a chapbook book and sell them we sell them for to 2000 naira if 50 people buy it you are good so the truth is if you keep posting using the hashtags if you were in the in class day before yesterday i dropped 
hashtags i dropped a uh, number of times you should be posting and how you should be posting if you continue if you follow that very um that very rule i gave to you you follow it there's a possibility that you reach a lot of people and there's a possibility that up to 50 people will buy and this remember these are just online people there are people you know that you can meet and say support me i'm telling you honestly all the times i said i want to sell my book at a discount there's, there are people, there are a group of people who don't, who have refused to buy my book at discount. They always want to buy it at the original price. Some of them even pay up to 50000 for a book I'm selling for 2000 naira, And they will tell me, uh, give to people that need. And that's exactly how I'm going to teach you this one in, in events, when we get to events. The truth, the mistake, the biggest mistake I made, I'm going to, in short, just remind me to teach you this, um, how to separate uh, different audiences and the monies they are going to bring in. You understand okay so when you are writing these books the target audience are people in your in your what is it called people online but the truth is you can meet people physically in church in school and that's why you have to make people know that you're a poet some of you are poets nobody knows people are shocked when you tell them they're writing poetry. Ah, even you it means you have not been doing enough to tell them that you're a poet let me tell you how you tell them that you're a poet every conversation try to tie it around poetry if they say something funny you say your own that is funny using what play use funny word plays you'll be like ah poets don't come again that is advertisement for you don't look normal don't bab your hair the same way everybody is babbing their hair do something crazy with your hair do something with your dressing so that when you pass people should ask what does this guy do sir then they say ah now poet that's an easy way to advertise yourself you shouldn't be you shouldn't just pass and nobody notice that you passed you should not be in a place where they're having conversation a poet is someone who talks he's not only someone who writes poems who talks poetry so in the conversation you have by the time you raise your hand in a meeting let them say ah this poet don't come you have to say something that is poetic that's how you advertise yourself you have your brand as a poet do you understand okay so by the time you do that by the time you do that continually i mean those 30 days you gather those poems. Another way to advertise the book, that's why you need to get uh, sell, sell it now. Get the book, sell it now. If you had bought that book yesterday when I told you to buy, I would have given you sell it now for free. So sell it now um, is 5,000 naira. If you, if you get that book out, you will see how to market a book without money. You won't pay a dime, but you market it. So one of them is that you have intentionally make three book covers of one book. Then put it out there and tell people to choose for you. Please, I need you to choose. The publishers just say you should choose one for me. And you see people. That's where I told you that advice. People like to give advice. Eh? They will want to kill you with advice. Okay, so help them be stupid. You know, just be, do like you don't know. You already know the one you want to choose, but just come online and say, ah, please help me choose. You will see them telling you, choose this one. No, I don't like this one. This one, why is the why is there is the Illuminati sign there? You know, you see people vibrating onto based on what they were exposed to. You know, you just know where their level is mentally. But don't fight them. Just say, oh, thank you very much. I value. Do it in a place where they won't know who voted most. You can do it on WhatsApp. Let them be voting. Later, you choose the one you wanted to choose. You understand? Why are you laughing? <laughs> Priceless. Okay, so you understand what I'm saying, but. Okay, so that's what you should do when by the time they are done you now say good so this book for you people that helped me to choose for you people that we are here on my seeing it on my whatsapp is just one thousand naira or it's just two thousand naira this very first week you can even sell them on pre-order if you if you're on whatsapp you notice i sell my books on pre-order so i make between 100 to 150 before i even write the book finish so that's what i always do all right sometimes i don't make up to that amount but most times i do by the time i tell people pre-order now for one thousand naira else it will be five thousand when it comes out and make whenever you threaten people like that make sure you you do that threat too don't go and say it's five thousand when i'm going to print it and then when you print it you're now saying okay um and just spoke to me that you reduce it three thousand people not take you seriously the next time you're going to threaten them so if you if you threaten people and say I'm going to sell it three thousand naira after this pre-order ends, make sure you sell it three thousand naira. Even if you are hungry, are dying, three thousand naira or no sale. It means the book does not have value. You move on to another book and create another book. 
Okay, so how do you choose a book that we sell? One, make sure that it comes from you. By you, I mean your brand is connected to it. I lost a lot of people. Remember, I lost a lot of friends. People watched me mourn. People more watched me lo lose. I lose. I lost a lot. Basically, I lost money. I lost friends. I lost businesses. I lost. I lost my sanity. So people saw all of these things unfold. But so when I now said I want to write books on grief, people just noticed that mm, it's supposed. It's supposed right. You know. So uh, people wanted to even buy just to support me. You understand? So make sure it is something that resonates with your background. Something that happened. If not, um, if if even if not everybody noticed. Let people that are close to you notice that this is about you, more about you than anything else. Let it not be that you are just carrying something from somewhere and writing. You understand? So if you are into tech, write something about tech. If you are into business, write something about business. All right? Write something that relates to your brand, something you are very passionate about, and then to the kind of audience that you want to market to. Do you understand? Okay? So if, for instance, you want to write for business people, you should write poems that call people to buy to buy um, products online i beg support my husband no they click no they click uh, no they scroll scroll they pass so you can do poetry like that you see people on tiktok will use it and sell products i'm going to write something like that you will see people people will, will use it to market their product on tiktok market their product on instagram if you put it and then um, put it out there on stream platforms do you understand Okay, so this is what you can do. I've not even reached that place. We'll talk about streaming platform, how to make money on streaming platforms. All right, so let's just move on so we save time. Ah, time is fast spent. So um, for this one, uh, selling ebooks, I told you, you can price it at 2,000. You can price it at 1,000. You can price it at 500. There's something else you can do. You can tell people that if they bring three people to buy it, they can take the book for free. I'm telling you honestly. It works. You can tell your immediate fans that let them bring three people to buy it at one five, and they will take the book for free. So what you have done is that the people they will bring will pay for them and even give five hundred naira extra. So you see people who have lots of followers will tell them, ah, this book is the dope. <laughs> so even if they get two people and fail to get the third panel, you know, so what you can do, you should learn how to uh, create links for each person we come. And it's not a small job, all right? So when you are done writing, you start creating links for your affiliate marketers because that's what they are. So when they sell, you can tell them, bring five people and buy it for 500. Or bring two people and buy it for 500 instead of 1,000 naira. People will come and buy. So they are bringing people for you at the same time you are selling the book. By the time you are done, you see that you have sold up to, to, up to 100 people. Online are coming. People on your WhatsApp are buying. Physical people are supporting you. So they can support you. You can see people that will support you with 10,000 Naira. That's 10, 10 people from one person. 10 people's money from one person. You understand? Okay, let's move on. This is just three. Ah, This is just three. Okay, so freelance writing. Remember, we talked about custom writing. This one is freelance. This one, you can write poems. And then, like, poems not based on anything. Just write and sell. Write and sell can put it out there and tell them this is a poem. Maybe the first four lines, you put it out and tell them this poem is from me. If you want to buy it, you can even do art with it. Uh, check out this account. I'm going to post it in our group. Check that account and see what the person is doing. Okay. The, she creates art with her poems and then she sells them just three lines, five lines, and she's and then she does a painting around it and then sell it really expensively. So you can do your freelance, explore freelance writing opportunities for websites or publications, you know, that accept poetry submissions. I, I will drop a glossary. I will drop a glossary of where you can find uh, this link. Just remind me in the group. Someone should type it in the group so I won't forget. Okay? You can you can um, send your poems to... I know some of you know those um, websites where you can send in your submissions and they pay you. They pay you small money. So if you get sent to like uh, seven, if you send to like 40 to 50 of them, there's no way three will not take your work. And some of them pay up to $15. $15 is about 20,000 naira. So if five of them pay you 20k, that's 100k. 
in one month oh, in one month okay let's move on okay so just as um osiago mentioned uh, the, this one is for open mic night okay though they call it open mic night but it's not really open mic if people are paying to come watch so it is not really really open mic you can decide to even host your own you can host your own open mic and invite your friends to come and watch you perform the poems they have seen you do on online and then you invite your poet friends people that will be begging i want to i want to perform i want to perform you can tell them perform they will perform before you come up and do your uh, um, special your poetry special where only you is performing then you can record the poem make sure the audio is good even if the video is not that good if the audio is good you are good so you can put out the same recording on your streaming platforms for people to watch and tell them last night was beautiful watch out for season two so you have tried to advertise the next one people in fact biggest the biggest brands pay more on post promotion than pre-event promotion or in event promotion most people promote their event more after they have done it so they promote it really well because they know the next one people that heard about this one and missed it want to show up for the next okay so always remember to give people the best experience because that's what they will remember most people don't remember your lines after your event they forget they use gary and forget it they eat gary they swallow gary and insult inubu or buhari and then they forget about whatever it is that you spoke if you like speak about how their grandmother took care of them they will still forget but they will not forget the experience they got all right that's why people pay invest much in light that's why people invest much in um in uh smokes that's why they invest much in getting celebrities to come around because they'll be like oh my god you see that that feeling of excitement seeing a celebrity is what people want to pay for it's not like you cannot listen to those songs um on your radio or uh, using the cd or streaming them streaming them on your phone the reason is because now you are seeing the person who did this who took pictures with davido who did the collaboration with davido oh my god he's here ah so that's what you're paying for experience all right so make sure you tie your your commerce at events around experience okay so then for long term long term you this one is for those who are now big so you can decide to uh, ask people to pay for subscription so if you have for instance if you have up to 400,000 500,000 followers on Instagram I'm not saying that's what you need to have before you ask for submission I'm just saying just imagine you have that you can decide to charge for subscription you can ask people that they should subscribe to see maybe behind the scene um videos or maybe something special for them just do, create something special that will be for a special set of people and then tell them to pay subscription subscription means every month the same way you subscribe to dstv you can ask people to subscribe for this and that and then you charge them make sure it is very small so there are four kinds of business i'm going to just tell you about three of them there are four kinds of businesses please remember this if you forget everything don't forget about this there are four kinds of businesses there is uh, the business we call ghosts or uh, graveyard business if you if you if you can hear me type graveyard business on the timeline just type graveyard business water please thank you type graveyard business if you can hear me okay good so do you know what graveyard business is now before i continue i need you to understand when we say when we say um um what's the word again value margin when we say value margin we are talking about the difference between what you bought a product and what you are selling it for by what you bought i mean both the the transportation from where you bought it everything it took you to get that product to the market and to get you back to the house anything it took you is part of the expenditure 
and then so whatever it is you sold it minus what you used to buy to purchase is the value margin if you can hear that type value margin if you understand what i just said type value margin value margin good now have that in mind have that in mind as we go to the other one the next one is um um what's the word again volume so volume is the number of sales you can make at a time okay the number of sales so type volume good so the number of sales you can make at a time is volume value margin is the difference between what you spent purchasing and what you 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 got from selling all right good by purchase it could also mean produce what you spent in producing you might say eh, i did not spend it it's only pen and paper that i bought and then i bought data 2000 that's not what you spent every minute what are you worth per hour you times it by the number of minutes or the number of hours you spent ideating and writing that piece. That's exactly what the cost is. So the cost is not only the pen that you used to write or the paper that you use or the data you used to type it and, and do the design. No. How much do you charge for a design? If they say, okay, only do the design, how much would you have charged? So these are the things you have to factor in when you are making your pricing. But let's leave that. Graveyard business is a business where the volume is small like you can only sell two three in a day or one self sometimes you don't sell at all and then the value margin too is very tiny so you buy you spend two thousand naira and you spend you sell it for two thousand two hundred naira so what what your gain is is two hundred naira and you 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 can only sell at most three it means it's six hundred naira you have made in a day it means if you are lucky the luckiest of your version of market is that you have you have made how much you have made um uh 600 naira times 30 that's what you have made so that's a graveyard business you will fold up soon all right like somebody cutting cold your business will soon fold all right so you don't want that to happen to your business so that's a graveyard business Another business is the one we call mass business. Mass, not mathematics, so M A S S. Type it M A S S business. Mass business. Correct. So, mass business. Mass business is the one where. Um, the value margin is small, but then the the um, the volume is much. So what I'm taking now is mass business. The 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 difference is not much because for God's sake, this is the cheapest thing. So that's why we started complaining when it got to how much? How much are they selling it around you? When it increased, we started complaining because this is supposed to be one of the cheapest thing ever, pure water. You understand so the value margin is small the value margin is small sorry my cat is disturbing me <laughs> pie is disturbing me so this is where the value margin is small this is where the value margin is small but then the volume is much so this kind of business is better than the graveyard business but it's not the best all right it's not the best it means you have to sell a lot it means you have to deal with a lot of people i sold i sold a lot of copies of my book last month but i suffered imagine chatting with over 4500 people in one day that was why i had to invest in i had to invest in um that's why I had to invest in um, 
I had to invest in um sorry about that guys. I don't know why people leave their house to come to my house and make noise. <laughs> That was why, what was I talking about, guys? Sorry, I forgot. Yes, I invested in autoresponder. And some of you started uh, flirting with autoresponder. Women, vampires. <laughs> so I, I had to invest in uh, autoresponder. Okay, okay, thank you. That was that. That is reassuring. That was why I had to invest in autoresponder to make sure that um, I, I save my life. It's not easy. People will just send you hi. Have you done a radio program and put out your number? People will just flash you just to be sure that and be like, ah, the number go Naim, Naim. But they do busy first. <laughs> they just want to flash you. They just want to send you a message and see if it is Graciano through through. Some of them might do a voice note and they're like, oh my God, it's you, it's you. I thought it's somebody else that is chatting. You know, so people are like that. So imagine people, you, you are under pressure. I was under severe pressure to raise about 4,000, 4.5 million naira. I was under pressure to raise that money. Me and my team, I was busy. I was replying messages by myself. I didn't give it to anybody. I was replying messages, doing voice notes so that people would know that it's me. And people would be like, ah, senior man, are you okay? Yeah, I don't want to buy any book. So why did you click on my link? You know, so mass, mass business is tiring. You will make the money, but you will suffer. You might even incur some health challenges. Some health challenges. Yes, so I suffered. People just want to hear your voice and be sure it's you. And be like, ah, okay, now I'm sure it's your number. Let me save it. So which of the books do you want to buy? Me, buy which book? I don't get money. I never even eat today. You know, so people are like that. So you don't want to do that. You don't want to, you don't want to do mass business. Another one is the one, the, uh, I don't want to talk about the fourth one. The third one, which is the one I want you to do, is the one we call the ideal business. Type ideal business. Ideal business is the one where the margin, the margin is good. Do you know what a good margin is? We are making 70%. We are making more than 40% is, is good, is good, but it's not the best. Ideal is 70%. 70% uh, profit. So by 70%, I mean if you bought it for 100 naira, you I don't know how to how to uh, count volume, like how to decide depending on the product. The volume will decide the product. If you are selling something that is, the money is small uh, and the the number of sales, even if you make 70% uh, profit, if, if it's maybe a uh, 20, 20 naira product you are selling, it doesn't make sense still. All right, so 70% on anything, maybe uh, 2,000 naira or 1,000 naira will make sense. You understand? It will make sense. So that said, let's go back to what I was talking. So you see how it relates. I had to mention this so that you understand it. I don't just want to uh, breeze through all of them, even though that's what I should be doing to save time. So for a poetry subscription, what do you think it is? Which business do you think it is? What kind of business is it? Is it the graveyard, the mass, or the ideal? Are you sure it's the ideal business? Or is, was this, were these the answers from the one I told you to type? Think of it carefully. Remember I told you they have to be many. I told you they have to be many, and then you should charge small. So which one? Do, yeah, good, good, priceless. A very smart babe, <clears throat> a very smart lady. Yes, yes. So the the this thing should not be much when you're sub. Should I be talking about these things for long? People have not even started. Is, has any is any does anybody have up to ten thousand followers on Instagram? Yes, Tehari, they are very correct.
Why are you shining teeth? You wanted to say it's it's ideal business. Roberto, why are your teeth that white and your face yellow? Is it because your name is Robert, Roberto? Robello. Okay, so. Okay. Okay, so that's exactly what it is. Mass. So do, do you know why you will not... Do you know why uh, it will not pay you? It will not pay you because you are shooting only one video for all of those who subscribe to watch. So the the effort is not much. That's why it is close to ideal. The effort is not much. But then, if ten thousand of, if you have up to four hundred thousand, and maybe what is ten percent of four hundred thousand? That's four hundred, right? Is it four hundred? That's one percent too. 1% is 400. That means 10% will be 4,000. So let's even pretend that it's not up to 4,000 that subscribe. Even if it's 1,000 people that subscribe, 1,000 times 2,000 Naira, or let's say 1,000 Naira subscription every month. That's 1,000 times um, times 1,000. That's 1 million Naira every month for just those who subscribed. You understand? So that's good money, but that will only come after you have grown. So this might take up to five years three to five years if you are consistent, okay? Because that's what I want to do now. I want to make sure I get up to three to 500 followers in the next three to five years. So you can join me if you want to join me on that um, <clears throat> on that challenge. We can, I actually need people to join me so that I will be gingered. We can ginger each other. We can be each other's, um, what's that thing called? Uh, accountability partner. Is it 40,000? Is it 40,000 or 4,000? 10% 10 of 400,000. Oh, it's 40K. You see, that's good money. That's about 10 million naira. If we are doing 10,000 people, that's about 10 million naira every month. Ah. Ah, yes, yes, yes. The Harry are very correct. It's like you are like that Igbo boy that knows mathematics when they add naira on. <laughs> when they add naira or dollars around it. Okay, so let's move on. Hey, Vincent John, how now? How is Bielsa? Well done. Okay, so next is poetry merchandise. Poetry merchandise. This is where, remember I mentioned that these ones are for people who are now big. Okay, so you can put some of your quotes on shirts, you know, and sell them. Write it in a special way. There's somebody who uses uh, semicolon to represent I. In all of his in all of his uh, merchandise so whenever you see anything written anywhere and the semicolon is representing i if for instance the word give you now see g semicolon ve you know that it's from him so write it in a way that people are going to know it's you some special way people are going to know it's you and then when you do that so can i even okay so by the time by the time you start making those sales, you know, wrecking those sales. You can even have people that will print it for you for free. Some people just want to partner with you because you are now big. So they can say, okay, let's make your shirt for you. Give us the quotes and then we'll pay you royalties from each sale. So you advertise these things. You can just wear the shirt and do your poem. And then in the caption, you'll be like, if you need a shirt I wore, there are only 50 copies available or 50 shirts available. You can buy them and we'll pay you pay for the way bill. Uh, the um, the uh, dispatch the dispatch it's going to get to you wherever you are on the face of this earth so you can do that same thing and then <laughs> yes yeah, house class okay so a lot of you don't even know that i'm house more than i'm evil yeah so you can do uh merchandise you can do on tumblers on cups on on anything on towels you can do and sell so remember also remember that thing I told you about businesses, graveyard, mass, and ideal, whenever you are doing all of these things, okay? So if you are putting a lot of efforts, make sure that you are getting 70% uh, in return. So you can also do poetry podcasts. Some people are asking me, how can I get money from poetry podcast? Leave poetry podcast. Let's talk about YouTube channel. YouTube channel pays you, uh, let me just say, twelve to 15,000, depending on the content and where you are posting from. Okay, they pay you twelve to fifteen thousand naira 
from the number of streams. Don't go there. They pay you 12 to 15,000 from the number of streams. Okay, so um, for every 1,000, for every 1,000, it means if you get up to 10,000 views, then just keep it at 10,000. It means you get 10 times 150 from one video. That's 150,000 Naira from one video in just one month. <laughs> you did not turn back now you are here, except if you leave, then you have turned back. So do you get my point? Of course, you have to have up to 1,000 uh, subscribers, 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours view time. Please help me type it so that people will see it. 1,000 subscribers, 4,000 hours view time, then you will earn 15,000 from every 1,000 views. Again, I repeat, I'll do it, I'll say it slowly. 1,000 subscribers, 4,000 hours, 4,000 hours view time. Yes, 15,000 Naira from every 1,000 views. 15,000 Naira from every 1,000 views. So that, yes, yes. So 15,000 Naira is what you will get. Naira, remember I said Naira. <laughs> 15,000 Naira uh, from every 1,000 views. So now tell me, people like Pastor Jerry Easy, do you know how much he makes? <laughs> I calculated his money some time ago. That dude makes at between 8 to 18 million Naira every day he comes live. On YouTube, that's why you see him coming online and say share, 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 <laughs> share, 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 <laughs> people are sharing. Of course, I don't know whether the miracles are real. It's not me to, it's not on me to judge. But what God cannot do does not exist. Yeah. So, but I'm just calculating as a businessman. I know that he's making between eight to eighteen million naira. Sorry, eight to eight hundred to one point eight million naira. Sorry, I made I made a mistake. 800 to 1.8 million naira every single day he comes live. So calculate that by 30, uh, 30 days. Help me calculate. So I think day before yesterday makes it made it four years he started. Four years he started. He started in 2020 during the pandemic. So that was what he. I, I think he blew the same time um, Mr. Funny blew, and for the same reasons. A lot of people were at home. They were looking for what to do. Churches were not opening because they were all scared. So he did his own, just online church, and people were joining. So that was how he blew. Mr. Funny, the same thing. So help me calculate. Let's calculate with the list. 800,000 Naira times 30. That's what he earns in a month. Let's move on. This one is not for you. Become big first. Do the do the small small ones and grow from there. Then you you become big from Insta, uh, YouTube. I've not even gotten up to one thousand subscribers. I think I'm in nine hundred and something, and that's because I've not really. This has not really been my core, but now I'm giving my. That's why we are here. You understand the number of views I'm going to get from this can get up to maybe uh, two hours, right? Two hours per person. So that will give us that will give me some kind of views. So that when it gets to 1,000, I can also start monetizing it. All right. So let's move on. So that's why I don't, I'm not really bothered whether you buy a book or you don't buy. You understand? So you can do that. And then, yeah, that's 24 million naira in, in a month. So you see, it doesn't have issues. Apart from offerings and tithes and support and seeds, you know, people are really like that. So, yeah, let's move on. Next is... Uh, I think I think let, let's end it here. Let's end it here. My laptop is about to go off. So ask questions from the previous class and now let us answer them. Let's answer them.
Awesome, awesome. Awesome. Please, I hope you saw that I they added hours there. 4,000 is not 4,000 views. So most people make that mistake. I have 10,000 views, but I've not gotten up to 4,000 hours view time. You have, you understand? So, and that 4,000 hours view time has to happen in one year for you to start earning. It has to happen. You cannot have a uh, 2,000 hours view time this year, and then next year you start saying it's many 2,000 hours. It has caught. You start afresh. So it's power one year. So the, what they want is for you to keep churning out content, quality content that people want to click on. So what you are supposed to be doing is to get lots of subscribers, because the more the subscribers, the number of the more the number of hours you are assured. You understand? Okay. So questions, questions. I will take only three questions. Three questions only. From from anything at all, from the things we have talked about. Did this boot camp throughout the boot camp? Yes, you can make an audio collection of your poems. So you can use Pixabay music. If you don't, if you don't have money to to uh, get the service of to contract the service of a producer, you can go to pick there are many websites, but Pixabay music is the one I always use. You can go to Pixabay music, ask ChatGPT which poems, which kind of songs, uh, which kind of music can be used in the background of a poem that is. You talk about the tone of the poem because the background of the song has to push the tone of the poem. So you talk about it. She will give you, Chajibiti is a girl. She will give you um, ideas of the kind of songs you search for. Then you go back to Pixabay Music and search for those uh, kind of songs and uh, kind of music instrumentation. Then you download them for free. You can go to InShot, do your voicing, use Dolby. D-O-L-B-Y. Please type it. D-O-L-B-Y. If you get, uh, for those of you who invited people, you will get, you will get the, you get all of this app. You get Dolby. You will get CapCut. You will get uh, InShot. You will get all of these apps, basically. So with them, you can create content. To the real creator, if you don't have it and you want to buy the real creator, it's now three thousand. Sorry, I gave you for one thousand. If you will refuse, you left a gift. You looked a gift horse in the mouth. The 1,000 Naira is what you are holding. You will hold it. So to the recreator, is 3,000 Naira. You'll get it. Yes, Dolby. So this, I like this app because it cancels out the background sound. Let me play something for you. Let me play. Do you look at six? Now I can't count without counting when your presence is not here, Jibron. So you see how clear it is. I recorded this where the place was not that that quiet, but this was where I recorded it and some way you don't cover tick tick blankets. You and them now school where people suppose. See how it sounds like I was in a studio. What is so that's what, what do this is how it is. Too. So this is how Dolby is. This is how it is. Uh, sorry, let me put off my lights. So this is how Dolby is. Sir. Can you see it? You can see Dolby, yeah? Dolby on, sorry. I don't even mention it well. Dolby on. All right. So you can download it. It's available on uh, both uh, iOS phones and um, iOS phones and um, uh, Android phones. Faith Solomon, why do you want us to record? When I told you to be here, what happened? Okay, so yes, you can record and then um, send it, give to streaming platforms. There are people who can post your work distribution platforms i mean distribution um, agencies they can distribute it for you you can even learn go to youtube and search for how do i distribute yes you can also you can also learn these things though, and help musicians to distribute i know someone who distributes mine i pay him five thousand naira every year to distribute my uh my audio content to different platforms all right so you can do the same thing and you should have charged phone now with Jane or somewhere. Didn't you go to church? They don't let you use charger in church. 
ask the questions please ask remaining two questions ask 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 so let's end this i'm sweating here i need to unfold my shin two more questions we have uh two minutes left before my laptop goes off two more questions please if you want if you i'm not rec i'm not saving anything if you want more go and buy the book by the book, it's um, becoming Bologna poet in weeks. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to save it, but still buy the book. Here are the two questions. How important is your stage name? It's very important to don't one don't get a stage name that you want to change later. It means that when people are searching, people that know you by this name. I don't want to mention some of my students who changed their names. They are regretting now. They don't not like they are regretting. They are regretting not choosing a name they will be proud of. So it's possible that you will get to a place where they will tell you, ah, this name is ungodly. Like this guy's name, Young, Young Tog. Young Tog was accused of killing somebody, and in court, they were asking him, uh, what is your name? He now bent his neck as if he's innocent and say, I'm young talk. They say, even your name is not innocent. <laughs> so don't choose a name that you regret later on. Choose a name that you'll be very proud of in the next 50 years. Yeah? 50 years is the life of uh, an artist. I don't think anybody can shine more than 50 years, except you die. Then you can continue to shine like fella. So please, what's the question I missed? I know I've answered one. I've answered two now. Remaining one, please retype it or just um, copy and paste it so that I'll see it. Ah, we have about 30 seconds left. My laptop is about to go off. Yes, yes, yes. Ask the question, please. Ask it, ask it, ask it fast so that we round off. We're almost 30 minutes late. Will there be an issue if your page name is different from your stage name? Yes, there will be an issue. Why would you be having so many names? Why would you be having followers? It don't have to 1,000 followers. Please, I will advise you to, to create accounts with the same name everywhere. Do you understand? Create accounts with the same name everywhere. So my name is Graciano when I'm everywhere, on Instagram, on Facebook, on YouTube, everywhere you go, so that you just know it's just me. My stage name is my own name too, all right? So sometimes I put it in parentheses, Sir Graciano, you understand? So that's my stage name. All of you don't know that Graciano is my real name. It's not my stage name. So if you are if you are below if you are below 30, don't ever call me Graciano, I will knock your head. That's disrespectful. Call me uncle. <laughs> okay. How to memorize your poems easily. Uh, I mentioned this in Spoken Poetry 101. Get the book. Spoken Poetry 101 will teach you that. Write with more sound devices. That's why you have not forgotten your nursery rhymes because a lot of sound devices. Write with more sound devices. Uh, rehearse. Rehearse. They say if you can say your poem 18 times without making a mistake in a noisy environment, you have owned it. Rehearse very well. All right. The yastic of a good poem, I already told you, the yastic of a good poem is dependent on the audience. So who is your audience? If the audience accepts it, then go ahead. Every speaker, like I said, has an audience. Odume JJ, is he a good speaker to me? Nope. <laughs> I will even be laughing at all of the mistakes he's been making. But some people actually listen to him. So yeah, so he's still an orator. He's a speaker. He has an audience. Yes, more word plays, right? Rhythm and sound devices help you to memorize easily. There are so many other things mentioned in Spoken Word 101. Get it. Get it. You will not die. If you if you miss one week without data and get a book that you will read and help your life, you are going to help your life. You are not really helping me. You are helping yourself. This book, I've sold over how many copies now? Over 11,000. Okay, over 10,000 copies. 
sold over 10,000 copies counting. So if one person does not buy, it's not going to really do anything to me. What is your 3,000 going to do to me like this? One plate of food, you know how much it is now? It's about 5K. From where I buy, it's 7,5. From where I eat, it's 7,5, one plate of food. They increase it to 7,5. So your 3,000 is not enough for one plate of food. If you keep holding it, you're holding yourself. Another way you can make money is to affiliate. You can affiliate for an event. Most people buy table from big people's events and keep it. Then towards the beginning of the show, they come to the gate and say, I get the boot ticket if you want to buy. But now, nah, nah, maybe 100,000 and 150, you know? So people do that. People affiliate. They affiliate uh, for courses. They affiliate for books. I know my students affiliate for my books. So it's going for 3,000 Naira. But if you buy from my student, you buy it for 2,000 Naira. And then they will get 1,000 out of that 2,000. And I will get only 1,000. So you see why you're not doing me? <laughs> That's why you're not doing me anything. Just send me a message. Send WPD on WhatsApp to me. I've been announcing it now. Where have you been? Send WPD as a WhatsApp message and then uh, automation will continue from there. All right, guys. We are done for today. Thank you for your time. Hopefully, next year, World Poetry Day, I'm going to do another GIG free class. But for now, let's prepare for May. May we have, um, we have a master class where we are going to have all of the top poets uh, not all, most of the top poets, uh, 10 of them, are going to be talking to us. So it's not going to be like before, where they will speak only 5 to 20 minutes. This time, they will have one full hour teaching all they know about poetry from their experience. So it's going to be amazing. Lyrical High, um, um, Hafi, Toby Abiodu, Samuel A. Samis, Bash Amuneni, D.K. Chukumerije, um, uh, what's her name? The girl from House on the Rock, Lagos. I be quakes, so all of them they are going to be uh talking to us, and it's happening in May. The registration is 25,000 naira for now. <laughs> for now, it's 25,000 naira. For now, it's 25,000 naira. For now, <laughs> for now, <laughs> for now. <laughs> all right, I'm smiling, but my smiling is very dangerous. <laughs> so if you waste time and these people tell me that no now i can't be teaching a place they're paying out in five thousand naira. i'm going to increase it so it's actually out of the goodness of my heart if you have met me you'll see that i'm a very kind person <laughs> but i'm not a nice person if my kindness is going to hurt me i'm going to withdraw my kindness so please take the opportunity right now pay the twenty five thousand naira and be set on your way to greatness all right so i i really enjoy seeing students of mine uh, oh, and they've returned the power supply. I enjoy seeing my students. Uh, okay, now they've returned the power. Should we continue? <laughs> no, I'm tired. So I enjoy my own students, teach, like the younger ones. People who are, if I mean younger ones, I mean these ones that started poetry like five, six, seven years ago. I like seeing them teaching uh, people that are starting like them too. You understand? Because the truth is there's a possibility that no matter how well I teach you, you will keep thinking, it's you now, you have made it. It's easy for you to say all of these things because you have been doing poetry for a long time. We, we are just starting. Allow us. You know, so, but if you see that your mates are really doing well, okay, just imagine, just imagine uh, Ivy Quicks talking to you now because you are seeing what she's doing at the moment. You really want to, oh, now my mate now, Ivy Quicks, Ivy Quicks was, she was 15 in 20, in 20 in 2016 yes she was 15 in 2016 so just check what her age would be now yes 15 that was either 14 or 15 in 2016 so check her age now it should be around most of your age right now because i know i got i got your contact like i got you into my classes from my adverts my facebook adverts and i targeted between uh, 22 to uh, to 30. So most of you are within the same age bracket. Very few of you who lied. You lied to Facebook. That's why you are here. Some of you are 19 years old. I was shouting the other day. Somebody told me that she was just 16. How can you be 16? How can you be 16 and you are here? 
what book can you buy? <laughs> Why are you too serious with your life? <laughs> that was an enlightened note. All right. <laughs> Faith, Faith Solomon says, yes, uncle. All right, so guys, we are done for today. Um, remain in the class. Don't go. Hmm. If you leave, if you want to leave, no problem, Mo. no problem. But if you really, if you really want to stay, there will be um, there will be giveaways. So if there are free classes anyway, I just come to that place to drop it. So I, I, it is not everything I will send as a broadcast to everybody. I can't be sending broadcast about how to write content, uh, how to write content free, uh, free class on how to write uh, content that we convert. And I cannot be sending it to Timi Dakulu. Or to Jeremiah Gang, I cannot be sending it to MI or to Bonner Boy. You understand? Even though I have their contact, but I can't send it to them. It will not. It will look stupid. So I, that's why sometimes I don't do broadcast to everybody. I will just come to that group and drop it. So if you, ca in case you are asking, what is the meaning of GIG? GIG means Graciano is good. So that's where I do most of my giveaways, my freebies, uh, discounts. You know, if there's any free class, that's where I drop it. I just believe that. All the people there are students of mine, both those that can pay for my courses and those that couldn't pay. I believe that one day you'll be able to uh, pay, you'll be able to afford some of those classes. So if you can't pay between 5,000 Naira for me, don't worry. In the next two years, it might be 100,000 you will pay. So people that couldn't pay 3,000 those days, they are the ones that paid 10,000 uh, the last class. All right, so don't worry about it. You will still grow. Uh, to the point where you'll be able to pay. And I forgot to mention, there's also a factor of time in your growth. So some of the things I teach you now, you might practice them and you won't see results. It's not that there's something wrong with you. It's just that your, your environment, the people you are around, don't really have money. When I was, when I was um, 19, 20, 22, my fans were people like me, 19, 20, 22, all dependent people. Shouting, Cho, he's gonna bust my head, but they couldn't pay for anything. <laughs> so, some of you, your fans are still your friends that are still begging for pocket money. So, how can they, out of their pocket money, support you to the extent where you make a million naira? It's going to be hard. So, in case you do some of these things and you don't see results immediately, it does not mean that the result, the teaching was flawed or that something is wrong with you. It means you just need time. Just keep gathering quality audience. The way you carry yourself is going to determine the number, the kind of people that come to you. Do you understand? Don't be hard on yourself and don't be hard on me. <laughs> don't be hard on me. I'm glad that this class is free. So you won't say anybody deceived you. Please carry your money and go. <laughs> carry the lesson and go and practice. If it works for you, fine. Nothing is wrong with the lesson. Like uh, if, if, if you teach a class and 98% of them get results good results from it is the class wrong no it is not so go and ask some of my students some of my old students are here the things i taught you work for you they work for you because i get testimonies a lot almost every day sometimes i don't even post them you know i get testimonies from my old students and sometimes i don't post them to be abiodu which they were shouting ah boss he also another thing i told him a long time ago he saw it now you know so as you keep going in your journey, you will see some of the things I taught you. You should always know that it's not just you I'm talking to. I'm talking to a lot of people. So there are different people in this place having different journeys, you understand? So some of you are close to the um, to the finish line. Some of you are just starting. So I'm talking to all of you. As you are running, you'll be seeing some of those things I taught you because these things are things that you will see. You must see them. You understand so um don't be hard on yourself like i said Whew. all right thank you guys see you guys next year <laughs> but then if you can the next two months let's see you so that we will arrange you we'll arrange you we'll arrange you then if you are one of my mentees get ready we are continuing class on saturday and thursday if you are one of my mentees and of course, I'm giving 500,000 naira to five students at the end of the year from my mentees. All right. Ciao. <laughs>